Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Zimmerman and today I'd like to show you the MSP430 GUI eval tool that I developed. Now I developed this tool primarily to work on the MSP430 uh, launch pad and what this launch pad has on it is, at least the latest ones do, is they have this G2553 microcontroller. Now if I could direct your attention to the screen for a sec, here is my GUI tool and so what this tool does is it basically breaks out the functionality of this G2553 microcontroller into this nice GUI environment where we can, can control just about everything on the microcontroller. For example, if I, uh, if I push this button right here, I can toggle some LEDs on the launch pad. Now this GUI eval tool can do a lot more than that. It has a digital outputs tab, digital inputs, analog, spy, and some other uh, functionality that I hope to build into the device. Now currently this GUI is under development, uh, but you can still download it and again it still works for what has been currently developed. And basically what this allows you to do is it allows you to test and develop hardware and software without actually having to write any code for the device. I'm told this is much like a current commercial product out there called uh, Bus Pirate, but basically this can uh, work on any platform out there as long as it has the G2553 microcontroller. Uh, if you use the launch pad, it's only um, $5. And then also um, it's open source and it's free. So again, it's quite a nice deal. I have a friend of mine uh, who developed a, I think this is a USB to uh, Wi-Fi device. And anyways, what he used is he used this G2553 microcontroller. And so what we were able to do is we were able to load my, my GUI code onto here. And then we were able to control um, his hardware and uh, software and see live results without actually having to write any specific code for his assembly. So again, it saves time. It's pretty handy. Uh, this video is just going to be a, a brief instructional uh, tutorial on just how to um, do the initial connection to the device and how to load the code onto the MSP430 microcontroller. So let's see how it works. All right, so now let's learn how to connect and use the MSP430 GUI eval tool that I developed. Now again, I was going to originally show you how to do this on the MSP430 launch pad. Now, what TI gives you, or at least what they provide you with, is a free IDE in order to program code onto the microcontroller on the launch pad. This software is called Code Composer Studio version 5, and basically it's an IDE or integrated development environment that allows you again to program code. Now they have a Windows offline installer, and uh, they have a free version, which is a uh, code limited version that you can use. Now the installation of this is uh, pretty simple. You just hit the next button a few hundred times. I trust you can do that. And uh, once you install it, you'll get something like this, which is just the program. Now again, the very first thing we need to do in order to get this to work is we need to load some custom code onto the device. Now all my code again is open source. I have a GitHub account, which is a uh, code revision control management system and on here again I'll, I'll provide this link in my my YouTube video but I have a file hosted on here that's called main.c now this file we click on it it has all the code uh, necessary that we need to load onto our device so let's go back to code composer studio and the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a project file for my GUI eval tool. So to do that, I'm going to go to File, New, and then I'm going to scroll over here to CCS Project or Code Composer Studio Project. I'm going to click on that, and you'll see this window will pop up. Now I'm just going to type in uh, just a random name. I'm just going to type in eval tool. I'm going to hit next a few times until we come to this window. This is kind of an important window. We want to make sure our output type is executable. It should be that by default. Now here's something that you'll probably have to change is the device variant. Uh, what you're going to want to do is go to MSP430G family since that is uh, 
where our microcontroller uh, lies, and then you're going to want to scroll down and find the specific microcontroller that's on the launch pad. As I mentioned before, the one that comes by default, at least on the newer launch pads, is the MSP430G2553 microcontroller. And this is the microcontroller which I developed my eval tool for. So once we have that, we just hit the, uh, the finish button. And as you can see over here, it has now created this project for us. So I'm going to expand the project. I'm also going to, whoops, I'm also going to right click on this and create a main.c file. So I'm going to go to new source file and type main.c and uh, click finish. So as you can see, this main.c file appears under our project. I'm going to go back to my, my GitHub account, and I'm just going to copy and paste this code that I hosted on here into Code Composer Studio. Now, there's better ways to do this, but if you don't know how to use GitHub, this is the simplest way. So, again, I'm going to copy, paste that in. Uh, I'm going to hit Enter once, so I avoid a, uh, a warning that will be generated when I um, build this code. So again, here's the code, and now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to compile the code. So I'm going to uh, click this button right here that says um, Rebuild All. So this will compile my code, and um, if you've done everything correctly up to this point in time, you should see this text down here that says uh, Build Complete for Project Eval Tool. Uh, also over here, you should see zero errors, zero warnings, and zero infos. That uh, confirms to us that everything worked correctly and that there are no errors with our code. Now the next step, now that we've compiled our code, is to uh, physically load our code onto the device. So to do that, I'm going to hit this debug button, and that will launch our um, the debugger on Code Composer Studio. So now it says um, program loaded. It'll give us some code size and some data. This number is going to keep changing as I um, develop more and more features for the, uh, the GUI. Now, one important step that you have to do is you're going to have to hit the run button in order to get it out of the debug mode. And you're also going to want to hit the uh, stop button, and that'll terminate Code Composer Studio's control over the uh, USB to serial connection. We need that connection in order to talk to the device with our uh, GUI. I'm going to close this. And then again, all my sources on my GitHub account. So on there I also have the source code for downloading the Windows.exe, which is the GUI. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click View Raw. This will allow me to download the file. So as you can see there, msp430guyeval.exe. I'm going to save the file to my computer. I'm going to right click and open the file. Run. And as you can see, here is our GUI. So now that the code is loaded onto the device, I should be able to connect to it. Now, this device uses a USB to serial chip that is on the launch pad in order to communicate. Now, those um, older programs, unlike USB, operate through various COM ports. So the first thing we need to do is figure out which COM port our microcontroller is on. So I'm going to go to the start bar, and I'm going to search uh, for device manager, and open dev device manager, and on here, I'll have a window um, called ports. If I expand that, it'll show my MSB430 uh, microcontroller provided I have it uh, plugged in. So this is listed as uh, COM5. I'm going to go back to my eval tool and in my um, connection dialog box I need to type physically COM5 and then if all goes well when I hit the connect button I should connect to the device. Okay, so it worked. Great. So now under the status, it says now connected, and also over here, it shows um, some received RS-232 data that says connected.
And then from here again, we can uh, toggle the LEDs on our launch pad. And if you look in the uh, lower right corner, you should actually see that happening live. So again, this is what this GUI eval tool will allow you to do. Again, I have uh, many more tabs, digital outputs, digital inputs. Currently, I'm working on analog inputs, and I also have a, uh, a spy tab created where you can send custom spy uh, commands from the device. Now, in the future, I'd like to implement I2C uh, master slave. I'd also like to work on a, a PWM tab and a few other tabs. So, um, again, it's a work in progress, but hopefully this instructional video will show you the, uh, the bare minimum basics of how to get it to work. That about does it for uh, this video. Thanks again for watching. If you're still having trouble connecting to the device, I suggest you check out my GUI eval debug video that I have on my channel. And also feel free to check out my channel for some other cool videos. Again, thanks for watching and have a good one.